Hi guys, my name is JP from fsipanel.com. I'd like to show you now a quick introduction to uh, A2A Cessna 172 with FSI panel. This aircraft is beautiful, well designed, and it's very nice to fly back a uh, basic trainer like this Cessna 172. It's very good for uh, basic IFR skills to fly Rodata ILS approaches and to have a basic trainer like uh, if we want to do DME arc. NDB approaches, this aircraft is just perfect. Alright, so how do we use it? I will just put pause on my Flight Simulator X and I bring FSI panel. Okay, so we select the Cessna. Okay, A2A Cessna 172. Select the aircraft. And now I will select an airport. So let's see, we want to practice that. Oh, I will show you, by the way, a new feature as we are here, the random airports, in case you haven't used it yet, this is a nice thing, especially with the Cessna. So if we press random, we get here to a random airport selections. As you can see, we have the minimum runway length. 500 is the minimum. I was thinking maybe to put something less, but I think 500 meters is a real minimum. Then we can choose the maximum runway length. So for the Cessna, let's say we want to have a challenging landing with 1000 meters maximum runway. I will choose an ILS because I want to show you how it works. You can choose no or just a localizer if you want to do a localizer DME approach. Country, we can select any country. I will leave it to random. And the pavement, this is a new feature as well. You can choose here if you want to, le to land sorry, on concrete, on dirt, on asphalt, on gravel. So here I will let it to not specify and search. All right, define something here. Hit Echo Tongo Hotel November, Niederstetten Army in Germany. 1000 meters runway with ILS. Okay, I will select this airport. We'll go 4 miles final and the weather, we are going to put a visibility of 5000 meters. Let's put some clouds, scattered clouds at 1500 feet. And uh, QNH 1020 just to see if the system is working properly. Temperature, we can leave it there. Make sure you have day, normally it's day by default, and set weather. Now I will click move aircraft and see what happens. FS6 is loading the flight. All right, the flight is loaded now. As you can see here, FSI panel, my control, please stand by and please set over if I mixture full reach. So on the Cessna, we make sure now that we have the mixture to full reach. The flaps should be zero before every Cessna approach. Make sure you have your flap zero. So if you land, put your flaps to zero before starting a new approach. Now, FSI panel is streaming the aircraft, so we don't touch anything. Aircraft is maintaining 3,000 feet. The autopilot mode will be set now for you. The nav heads will be set out as well for this ILS approach, so we don't do anything now. Now he says, set flaps as desired, adjust the power for your desired speed, and when ready, hold your brake to take control. Okay, so now I can adjust my power if I want 80 knots. Okay, 80 knots. At this stage, we can look at our uh, nav setting, make sure it's correct for the ILS here. We can set anything we would like for our cockpit. Set the lights if it's night and it's too dark for you. Don't worry if you are moving too close to the runway or if you are above the uh, glide slope because when you take control you will be brought back to your correct position. So here we could set uh, NDB approach. If we want to fly NDB approach we can set anything we want. Get our Cessna in the right configuration if you want to slow down by putting already some flaps. And when we feel ready we hold our brakes. So I'll show you now. I will hold my brakes. And FSI panels tell me, please arm approach, check autopilot engage, and switch off pause. Okay, so let's give it a try. I will go to the approach mode and release pause. So now if we look at the autopilot here, he went in the approach, so he picked up the localizer, which we have here. And the glide slope is coming. When the glide slope will be intercepted, glide slope is armed right now, it will be captured. This should take place any moment from now. Okay, now look, it's coming. Glide slope should be captured. Let's have a look here. Capture glide slope, approach mode, glide slope capture. 
So our Cessna is now flying this approach with the weather that we have set. Looking at the altimeter here, we have 1020, which is what is the actual ambient pressure that has been set as well by FSI panel. So now we can just fly this approach. So this is how to use FSI panel with the Cessna. It's quite easy. The only thing you have to remember is always after landing set your flaps to zero before you start another approach. Otherwise, FSI panel will have a little bit of trouble to uh, set the correct pitch and attitude. It will manage, but it will be more difficult and a bit longer. So if you remember, set your flaps to zero and then go to FSI panel and select your next approach. Okay, now we try to reduce our speed for the landing over there. Set the flaps to 10. I know you will tell me that I'm a bit lazy because I let the autopilot flying. This is true. I'm flying a lot of approach every day, so I enjoy to have the autopilot from time to time. And every second approach, I fly it fully manual as well on the jetliner. I'll, I like to fly manual. Well, here for the demonstration, as I have to talk and everything, I'm not like uh, frugal very comfortable in uh, doing videos and flying and talking and watching at the message in the same time so I use the uh, autopilot to give me extra resources for the, the rest alright let's configure that aircraft for landing I will take now the autopilot off alright let's see we're a little bit high reducing full flaps speed will be around 65 runway is there Slightly high, correcting, 65 knots. This aircraft is beautiful, really. It reminds me the good time where we were learning private pilot license and uh, basic IFR. This is just beautiful to fly. Well done from A to A, really uh, enjoyable airplane to fly. All right, coming 65 knots on the glide slope, 60 knots, a little bit of power. Slightly left, correcting, slightly high, correcting. 65 knots we have. Alright, now we are almost on the threshold. I go power back. Attaining the 65 knots to cross the threshold. And now we come for the landing. Oh, that's you see. This is the airline pilot flying small Cessna. That's the problem, flaring way too high. All right, a bit of break. And now, if I want to use my Cessna again, remember flaps zero. I stop on the runway. I put my parking brake. And here it tells you reloading of approach is armed. Check your transponder code. So here, if you want to do another approach exactly the same. I will show you in a minute. You will just dial here on the transponder 7701. We are ready for the next approach. And just have a look here now to the landing report. The landing distance 280 meters. That's good. I was slightly left of the center line. Positive landing. Yeah, we felt it was a little bit hard and otherwise the approach was not too bad a little bit high here we saw it and not too bad not too bad but uh, still a lot of work to do so i will practice on this aircraft the next few days so now if i want to start and then try again the same approach i have set my scope to 7701 the only thing i have to do now is the brake release the brake and fsi panel will take over now and set the same approach again so you can practice again. If your scope will be 7702 and your landing was within 5 meters of the center line, you will get an extra crosswind. So if you set your wind with 5 knots of crosswind, then it will give you 10 knots, 15 knots, 20 knots and so on as long as you land on the center line. Same as before, mixed or full reach, halfway with the power lever, and FSI panel will look. Now it's got big problem. 
don't worry it's nice that we see that so we see the altitude is it's gonna take a little bit longer but he will manage so just let it go we see the runway again here and that's it, set flaps, so the speed is ok, we have flap 0 I can take over by pressing my brake, I'm going to do that now alright, I'm positioned back, I am my approach ready pause, and we can fly again, your control very nicely established localizer, so we can fly this approach again and again and again alright, thank you for watching guys, I hope uh, you will have successful landing on this beautiful airplane See you next time. Bye-bye.